No entry. And a skull and crossbones. That's encouraging. Where am I? The magnetic shock absorption system is located on this basement level. All the rooms here are full of mobile electromagnetic clusters. I can use an EMP on them. It's not gonna kill me, is it? Let's hope not, Comrade Major. What? So I could get crushed by a falling wall of magnets? Theoretically speaking, that shouldn't happen, but this is merely a hypothesis. I've never been here before. Seriously? That's weird. Well, whatever. Comrade Major, have you made it to the VDNH? Kinda. What's that supposed to mean? It means I'm kinda almost there. I'm in the magnetic shock absorption chamber, looking for a way to unlock the entrance doors. Can you open them for me? No, I can't. I don't have the skills. This is your responsibility. <gasps> then get off my grill. <gasps> Those freaks and their goddamn mustaches again. Another door without a lock. Ugh. Where's the relay, Charles? I don't see anything on the walls. Those freaks and their goddamn mustaches again. What you staring at, you metal dipshit?
What's the point of this fucking maze anyway? The magnetic shock absorption system was developed by scientists from Kiev Polytechnic University. It's a very complex and comprehensive device that alters its configuration according to the situation. So it's plan B in case of a natural disaster. Among other things. But it is first and foremost a trial run of the magnetic shock absorption system. Here, under Earth conditions, the system will be perfected so that it can be deployed in space. Cool. Science is power. There's no denying it. But we still need to find a way past all these goddamn magnets. talking about my partner and i is to service the magnets here and each day we worried we not get grounded if we got careless wore rubber treated pants swallowed pills put tinfoil under the hard hat anything to avoid getting torn apart by the magnetic field but it was the robots that killed you now nah, come on not the robots it was poor judgment we should have gotten weapons and body armor you see, the problem wasn't robots. It was lack of preparation. You should always know what's going to happen. You can never be ready for everything. God damn it, that's a miserable excuse. Take my advice. Hmm? Never part with what you can use. Always think twice before wasting a bullet. Stay low and make short runs from one shelter to another. Never investigate anything unless absolutely necessary. Following your advice would make life pretty damn dull. Do what I did, and you're gonna live longer. Look, uh, there's a hole big enough in your logic to drive a truck through, but whatever. Another door without a lock. Ugh. Where's the relay, Charles? I don't see anything on the walls.
We had suits. We Whatever, huh? I'm moving on. Charles, what the hell does Molotov have against Dr. Sechenov? Why do you have to cook this commission up two days before the launch of Collective? Everything's ready. Exactly because everything is ready. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that Molotov and his commission want to steal the fruits of Sechenov's labor two days before the launch? Indeed. The malfunction Petrov caused is an excellent pretext for showing that Dr. Sechenov is incapable of overseeing Facility 3826, and by extension, the polymerization of the Soviet Union. What's the boss got to do with it? This is all Petrov's fault. He's the one who made the robots turn the facility into a heap of corpses. I'm afraid Comrade Molotov doesn't care how many victims there are, but hey, neither hey, does hey. Comrade Sechenov. What? What the fuck are you talking about, Glove? The boss is doing everything he can to fix this. To be precise, Comrade Major, it's you doing everything you can to fix this, not Dr. Sechenov. But he's the one who sent me here. But why did he do that? Think about it logically. Comrades Sechenov and Molotov both have something to gain from preventing information about this terrible malfunction becoming known to the rest of the world. Because no one would believe that a handful of traitors are responsible for the whole thing. Everybody would think that Soviet robots are dangerous. Quite right. But what conclusion should we draw from this? Only that, hypothetically, Comrades Sechenov and Molotov should both have a vested interest in ending this nightmare as quickly as possible. Isn't that right? Yeah. So what? We're seeing a common, everyday power struggle. Instead of going to the government and having troops sent to Facility 3826 to destroy the hostile robots, arrest Petrov, or end this in some other way, Dr. Sechenov is doing everything he can to conceal the tragedy from everyone including the government. They can't send in the army. There are too many people. Somebody could leak intel to the enemy and then it's all over. But only reliable men could be sent to the facility, such as the Argentum unit loyal to Sechenov. They could team up with combat robots and restore order in the blink of an eye. But I don't need to tell you about that, do I? But that's, I mean, <sighs> crispy critters. I don't get it. Why does it have to be so complicated? Because Dr. Sechenov can't deploy troops or combat robots without the authorization of the Politburo. On the contrary, he's doing everything he can to make sure the government doesn't know what happened. Why do you think that is? Because his enemies would take collective away from him? 
Now, when everything's built and ready to go, and any asshole with a badge could run it. Quite right. It's all done. Just fix the malfunction and press a button. Geniuses, creators, and engineers have already done their jobs. All that's left to do is enjoy the fruits of their labor. In other words, Comrade Molotov wants to put Dr. Sechenov in jail over what happened here so he can take over the facility himself? To be exact, he wants to lead Collective. But... Everybody's going to be equal there. Some will be more equal than others. No, I know that high-ranking Communist Party members will have more authority in Collective than ordinary citizens, but that's fine. I mean, somebody's gotta make big decisions, right? Is that so? Why, pray tell? Well, first off, somebody has to be responsible for carrying them out. It's not like everyone can be responsible for everything. Everyone means no one. Someone's gotta take responsibility. The buck has to stop somewhere, right? And if the whole world did nothing but debate big decisions, no one would ever do anything. They'd spend all their time talking. But what if you're wrong? You say that the entire world would never stop discussing important decisions. Collective is a collective mind. Having merged into one, mankind will instantly know everything anyone wants to express. And in this singular collective, Responsibility will be determined not by fear of punishment, but by awareness. Has anyone ever reached that level, even here in the USSR? We're not perfect, to say nothing of the rest of the world. Absolutely right. The world may not be ready for the launch of Collective. The Soviet Union's leaders understand this. That's why the party will have special discretionary authority within Collective. What's wrong with that? That's how it's always been. Has it really? Or has there always been one indisputable leader? A puppet master controlling the Politburo, the Council of Ministers, and all the rest. Are you trying to say there's gonna be one single leader in Collective? I'm trying to say that people will connect to Collective via a neuroconnector. You mean a thought device. Everyone knows that. The thought device is for ordinary citizens, but individuals in privilege... So this little thing is the reason everything's all jammed up? This place is nuts. You can ascend to the surface, along with the mirror. For once, you're right. I'd probably reach Nirvana before I could make it back down the way I came. the VDNH yet, Comrade Major. The government's commission's condor has already left Moscow. They'll be here any minute now. If the commission hasn't landed yet, that means there's still time. Just let me work in peace. Shall I report to Dr. Sechenov that it is his requests that prevent you from working? Yeah, you can report on how you ran away from those robots on the maglev platform instead of helping. I am not a soldier, Comrade Major. I am doing intellectual, not menial labor. Smashing robots is your specialty. The only labor you're doing is talking my ear off. Right now you're wasting my time and slowing down my mission. What? Nothing. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. Proceed to the information. How can can 
I how can I help you? I need to get into the exhibit. How do I open the door? The time can be be opened with my multi key error. Multi key not found. Old Terish Cobra models can transform their index fingers into keys. It's one of their basic functions. Looks like you lost your multi key. My forearms have been torn off by a miscreant. Error. The required manipulative node is missing. The unlocking function cannot be initiated. Right. Where could she have lost her hands? I suggest you start searching this location. Please. Please. Charles, what do the Proceed. special neural connectors for Collective Formation look like? You know, the ones the government is supposed to get. The ones they will get look like thought devices but in a golden diamond-encrusted shell. The scientists from Dr. Sechenov's team have already received different devices. Different? You mean there's gonna be ones with different capabilities? According to Dr. Sechenov's plan, bureaucrats and civil servants will receive fakes. Only the scientists will receive real connectors with discretionary authority. The boss is gonna try to deceive the government? That's crazy. How do you know that? Where did you get your neuropolymer glove from, comrade major? What, you mean yourself? I got you from Dr. Sechenov. Exactly. Hold on. You mean he gave me his own glove? The fate of his life's work depends on the success of your mission. <laughs> he did ask me to be careful with you. looking at this worthless hunk of junk? The backstabbing machine that killed me? It's a phase. It'll pass. It's already passing. I can't even remember my own name anymore. But his metal mug is still there. I still remember the bastard gutting me. They told us robots were going to replace us. As staff. And, well, they certainly did. Only they did it by slaughtering us all. That's some replacement, isn't it? Oh well. Just leave me alone. I want to do us off.
dead bodies all over the place. Tereshkova's arm. Fuck that. There's no way I'm leaving that thing alive. everyone. I took a look at some recordings of your tours. <laughs> Why are they so boring? Graphics are this and that kind of robot, yada yada yada. And then you get all technical. Uh, there are kids there, you know? Young pioneers, octopus. You gotta keep them entertained. Yeah, watch this. This is Robot Rapping. He's really nice and friendly. He might be a little on the chubby side, but uh, he's really neat. Or, I don't know, kicks ass. You want us to say ass in front of the kids? You know what I mean. Don't say he kicks ass. Say, I don't know, something else. Make the toys fun. Let the little buggers crawl all over the bus. Let them ride them or something. Authorization. Major Nichayev, code name P3. We need P3. to get the kids interested Act in robots, not put them to sleep. Granted. How does it work? Hold it up to my neurosensor contacts. Multi key activated.
Now what? Thank you for coming to my aid. Not having the key felt like I was missing a limb. One moment, please. Did we fix her or break her? The Tereshkova is a state-of-the-art model with a self-repairing system. A famous actress and cosmonaut contributed to its creation. I don't give two wet farts. Much better. With your permission, I'd like to deliver a speech now. Greetings, comrades, and welcome to the- Pipe down. What the fuck are you babbling on about? What speech? You're prancing past piles of dead bodies, and there's blood everywhere. My algorithms are glitching with horror, but my databases lack the verbal and visual tools required to express fear, horror, or other negative emotions. I was created to remain positive and optimistic, no matter what. The grotesque dissonance between my behavior and the gruesome surroundings grosses me out. But there's nothing I can do about it! Uh, I see. I guess nobody expected this to happen. Okay, bot. Set the VDNH to drill mode. Drill mode? This would lead to even greater aggression from passive and physical security systems. It will endanger you, and may lead to death of the surviving people, assuming there are still any left. Okay, enough. Later. Exactly. If there are any left, this place is a fucking graveyard. Now follow my damn order, bot. You have given me a most peculiar command. All people in this complex have been killed by robots, but you are unharmed. This arouses suspicion. Prove that you are a human. I will not follow the orders of a robot pretending to be one. And how am I supposed to do that? Commit seppuku? You must pass the Darwin test. This will prove that you are a human. What the fuck? What test? How about I just rip your head off, huh? Without her help, activating drill mode will take too much time. I gladly confirm this information. Fine, knock yourself out. Hit me with this damn Darwin test of yours. What am I supposed to do? Prove that you are human, Pioneer Nichayev. Put three items on this pedestal that represent the three main values of a Soviet citizen. Art, labor, and life. Crispy critters, now I gotta deal with another crazy-ass lock? Fuck, I'm a magnet for annoying bullshit. Pipe down.
so... about that. Yes! I am always happy to help, Major. Just watch your fingers. I'd rather not have to look for that multi-key again. The hammer, tool of working men. The sickle, peasant's friend. The many-pointed star they praise and with their lives defend. <sighs> Here you go. This is as alive as it gets around here. Hear the spring's cheerful hymn. Be yourself, strive and earn. Life, I love you, and hope you love me in return. Ah, oh, shut your face, you dumbass toaster. I'm sorry. All this chaos is causing my emotional algorithms to malfunction. Put something cheerful on, would ya? It kind of feels like the end. Radio of the future! But the citizens of today are already listening to it. Doesn't that mean this is gonna be the music of the past once we actually get there? And nobody's gonna write it 30 years from now because it already exists. The music of the future could change every second. Well spotted! You have discovered a temporal paradox. How very observant you are. The music of the future shapes the music style in the present. However, the superposition of the observer and the information being perceived are located within a self-consistent loop. In layman's terms, we are always listening to the music of the future and determining what it is going to be like at the same time. Oh, shit. If that's layman's terms, I'd hate to hear the complicated explanation. I'm getting a fucking headache here. Pioneer Nichayev, you passed the Darwin test with flying colors. Tell me, what do you want to be when you grow up? A cosmonaut. What a splendid career choice. I would... Well, I'd rather enjoy your attention, Major. Now, how can I help you? Do you have a memory leak or something? I need to announce a drill and put the VDNH into drill mode. Unfortunately, this is beyond my ability. Are you yanking my fucking chain? But I can provide you with a solution. You see, a single robot cannot engage the military drill mode. Such procedure requires the presence of two robots instead of one. So where do I find another obnoxious metal dipshit? Before that dreadful nightmare, the information hall was staffed by the two of us. But during the failure, the berserking robots took my partner, Claire, apart. Did they scatter her all over the complex or something? Precisely. How did you know, dear comrade? Call it a hunch. Do I have to scour the entire VDNH for her parts? Plug the administrative control drive into me, so I can tell you where the pieces of poor Claire currently are. Well, that sure beats looking for him blind. So where's the administrative control drive? I'm running out of time. Please follow me. This whole thing is just monstrous. The robots must have completely lost their minds. Helping lumberjacks and first responders is such a noble goal. But you, how do you use the arms our creators have given you? Like a primitive animal. Like a beast to crush and dismember. And this one, it just stands there buck naked as if nothing were wrong. Have you no shame, robot? publicly exposing your iridium compactor. You do realize he didn't do it himself, right? Oh my, that's a mess. And who, I wonder, will have to clean it up? 
I should dispatch the cleaners this instant. No, wait. It's the cleaners that did it. I'm so scatterbrained today. Oh, I envy you humans. You can just pick up a razor and shave that horrible monstrous mustache off. But this one, you're not even a machine, you nitwit. You're just an imitation, a caricature, a piece of lab equipment. Pardon the outburst. It's just that one of them used to try to... Oh, well, let's change the subject. There's a wide range of the lab tech models. The ones in black turned out to be especially vicious. They've been using their harmless built-in range-finding laser to pick off humans from a distance. How did it ever come to this? Just so you know, the black lab tech specialization is determined by the software package encoded within a specially constructed Kinetico Scholar Neurogel capsule. You can salvage this package from one of the defeated black lab techs, provided its capsule is still in one piece. What? I didn't understand a single thing you just said. You're an assistant, Tereshkova. Talk human. Shocking! You have no sense of decency. I gather you've already met Nora, the monstrous repair vendor who's subjecting humans to unimaginable deadly torture. It pains my algorithms to have to send you into her bloody clutches, but we have no choice. She's the only mechanism capable of utilizing this capsule to upgrade your weapons. Yeah, yeah, move your ass, Tereshkova. We're in a hurry. On my way, comrade. Who's a good boy? Who's the sweetest, silliest, chubbiest little boy? You little goo. You don't attack people even when you're in combat mode because you're such a little sweetie, isn't that right? Aren't you precious? Here we are, comrade. The administrative control drive should be at this booth. Please establish the connection. Only try to be gentle, comrade major. I have very delicate internals. Oh, what just snapped? Relax, bot. That's my joints cracking. Does this look all right? Administrator level rights granted successfully. What now? I'm opening the door to the atrium for you. Search each of the complex's floor and find my dear Claire. I'll be in touch over the radio. As soon as you reach a floor, I'll scan it for my poor friend's parts. Most of her is on the ground floor. Please put her back together again. <laughs> 